Now that you understand how to purchase your items and how the process works, let's talk about why we use pre-Amazon locations rather than sending directly into Amazon as so many other people say that you should do. First, what is a pre-Amazon location? In simple terms, it's a physical place to send items before being sent to Amazon. It's incredibly useful when importing to ensure smooth customs clearance. Another huge benefit is the fact that you can use the hub to check the condition of goods on arrival. This enables you to rebox items if they are damaged in transit. If these items didn't have this check and were sent into Amazon, they would be deemed unfulfillable and would be sent back at a cost to you. This simple addition makes complete sense for this reason alone, especially if you're air freighting as those packages aren't exactly treated with care. Next, you can use a pre-Amazon location or freight hub to apply any finishing touches required, such as outer cartons labelled for Amazon. You can see this in module 8 for more about this. Also, it can be used for any products that require any bundling or additional labelling or any products that require reboxing of packaging or outer carton. Another huge benefit of using a freight hub is the fact that they give you back control over the movement of your goods and reduce the impact of long-term storage fees within FBA. The reality is that Amazon's FBA service is for fulfillment, not for storage. You will find that it makes complete sense to not ship your entire MOQ into Amazon when it first arrives due to things such as long-term storage fees within Amazon. Only send in enough to get your listing up and running and well stocked. If you are wondering how many you should initially send into FBA, there's no real one-size-fits-all number. But consider how many would you sell in a month on a conservative sales basis. The great thing is that if you send in too little and your product starts to sell a lot quicker, you can simply send in more. The good news is that the vast majority of freight forwarders can make these services available to you. Simply ask them and get a feel for the pricing. It will make complete sense, especially as you divide out the cost over the total number of units available. You may still be wondering why we don't just ship direct to Amazon. Surely that would be easier, right? Well, the first key point is that Amazon cannot be your importer of record. If you send items into Amazon and have them as the importer of record, the goods will be refused and returned immediately. Sending direct into Amazon also creates possible complications when clearing customs. I've seen people have their items returned to their supplier due to these complications. Unfortunately, I've almost always been on the wrong side of some of the rules myself. That's why I'm giving you this information. If you don't use a hub, then you don't have the ability to add finishing touches, such as labeling and bundling, etc. This reduces your flexibility considerably. Not only that, but many times, creating product bundles opens up new, untapped opportunities for you that you would never have had access to had you simply sent your items in directly. Next, all stock must be stored at Amazon. This alone will result in significantly higher long-term storage fees. There are also potential issues when goods are received into Amazon. As I mentioned, if items are even slightly damaged in transit, they will be deemed unfulfillable. This results in stranded stock in potentially more than one country. Shipping into Amazon directly also pushes you into a corner as you'll have to use air freight to ship due to the fact that Amazon only accepts container shipments on pallets. This almost will never make sense to do. Not using a pre-Amazon location results in you taking on significant risk that only results in minor savings. Overall, I just don't recommend this approach for the minor cost involved of getting things right every single time. After all, this can all be alleviated by investing pennies per unit and will give you significantly more peace of mind. It's more than worth it. So make sure you speak to your forwarder and ask them about utilising these types of services with them. You'll thank me for it.